We've got something pretty cool here today. It's something that doesn't happen too often. It's actually one of a kind hand built sample. And that's because we've got the black speech keyboard from Drop. They've done a few Lord of the Rings keyboards in the past. We've actually got the Elvish and Dwarvish ones here. So I'm gonna take a quick look at those as well. But what I'm really excited about is the Black Speech one because it started as just a keycap set and then, you know, I think they just got way too much hype and interest for it. So they decided to do a whole, oh my God, it looks good. I've got to say, I was like really excited for this and for good reason. I wanted the keycap set myself. I was thinking about buying it. Um, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, we got to just kind of unbox this thing so that, you know, maybe I can buy it from the company after and just get my own copy. We have to send this one back because it is a sample and I have to be incredibly careful with it. Apparently it was hand built for us. So thank you drop, really appreciate it. It's currently on group buy and that's going for another two months or so, but it's supposed to ship in May, like right after the group buy is done. And you know what, while I'm not crazy about drop keyboards for the most part, like they're okay. They're just not really my style right now. They're consistent. That's the one thing I can say about Drop is that their their stuff's gonna come out. It's not like a lot of other keyboard group buys that it's just never gonna happen. Oh, there's actually like a pretty nice set of stuff under that box. Okay, we got a cable, some other keycaps. Okay, so basically if you don't like the red aesthetic that they've got on a lot of these, you can change it to a black or gray uh, keycap to kind of fit the rest of the set. And then a keycap puller. Let's take a look at this cable. Looks like just a standard USB A to C cable. One thing to note is that this isn't gonna be wireless. Uh, I don't even know if there's RGB. In terms of features, you might be a little lacking, but you're not buying this board for extra features or anything like that. You are buying it because of the super duper cool black speech keycaps. And then the super duper cool like Eye of Sauron kind of, uh, ooh, it's like, it's got a physical like 3D feel to it, which is kind of nice and feels a bit more premium than just like a painted on Eye of Sauron or something. It's even got what I think is Narsal, like the Isildur's blade that gets shattered uh, right here, or at least it's got a sword cut into three pieces. That's kind of what that is to me. Otherwise we've got like a ring wraith on <laughs> the windows key, which is super cool. There's the one ring on the windows key on the other side as well. And then the big Eye of Sauron up in the top left here as your escape key. And overall, I gotta say it's super cool. I was actually thinking of buying uh, both the Elvish and the Dwarvish keycaps. And then this one came along and I was like, oh my God, okay, never mind. I'm not getting those, I'm getting this guy. I do have to be a little gentle because like I said, this is a one of a kind. They're not even done yet. One nice thing in case you can't read Black Speech or you forget where you are, these all have front legend or if they don't have front legend, then they are on just the bottom right of the keycap in a really small print so that it's not something that even stands out until you go looking for it. The switches feel pretty good. They're Holy Panda X. So if you like those, then I mean, hey, here's your chance to get your hand on some Holy Pandas. The one unfortunate thing as well about this board, at least in my opinion, is that it is soldered. Now in our case, it's kind of cool because this was like hand soldered, one of a kind, you know, sweet. However, in most cases, especially if you're not a big fan of Holy Pandas, which I mean, I think they feel pretty good, I don't know. Uh, but if you don't like them for whatever reason, so you wanna switch to clickies or you have a personal favorite that you like to put in your own favorite boards, uh, you're not gonna be able to do that, at least not easily. You can desolder switches and replace them that way, but it is, uh, it's time consuming and it's a pain and I would not recommend it if you can avoid it. It's part of why I love hot swap so much, it just kind of works. But yeah, otherwise, like in terms of sound and everything, it's not amazing. It's about what you get from a drop control. However, you can mod this thing to sound a lot better. So I definitely think that it's not the end of the world, that this is the only way you're gonna get a Black Speech keyboard. And one thing that I gotta mention, of course, is it's got adjustable feet. Flip up feet are a big favorite of mine that I really wish were a more common feature in more premium boards. I wanna take this apart so bad but I can't. I promised them that we would be incredibly gentle. Oh, I didn't even notice this. On the back, it's got like drop plus Lord of the Rings. Let's open up the other keyboard, see if there's any real differences and then try them all out. Oh man, it's really pretty. So like, don't get me wrong. One thing is that whoop, the keycaps themselves are actually very similar. It's really just the colorway. Like we've got almost the exact same. Oh no, they are a little different. Like we've got a elf tree. Oh, what's the elven tree? I don't know which one it is, so I'm not gonna comment. For the most part though, the keycaps are pretty much the same. The only real differences I'm seeing are like on the Windows keys. Even the escape key is still an Eye of Sauron. I was kind of hoping that would be more unique 
to this set, but I do love the color difference, especially with this red and black versus nice like kind of vibrant green. So let's take a look at the Dwarvish set. I didn't mention this before, but the box that's like the, the outer shell for the box is this really cool uh, map of Middle Earth. And one thing that actually really bothers me is Gondor, there is an R here, I promise. They didn't screw it up and, and put Gondo <laughs> on the map, but when I first just saw a flat image in Teams, I was like, oh my God, they screwed it up. Oh, it's just an accent. <laughs> Gondo. Gondo. Yeah, you go to Gondo, mate. <laughs> uh, no, but it's really, it's just a really nice little touch that it, it sets it apart from just a regular drop keyboard. Like you are getting something pretty unique here. Speak friend and enter. Oh, I like this one the most. This is a clear winner for me personally. So don't get me wrong, as much as I absolutely love uh, this Eye of Sauron kind of printing or artwork or whatever's going on here. I love this starry kind of motif on the Dwarven keyboard and I love these keycaps. I really dig the gray, almost stony kind of looking uh, keycaps and I am in love with this one. Like way more than the other ones. You know what, my only real problem though is that unlike the Elvish and the Black Speech ones, uh, the legend isn't super hidden. Like, as you can see here, it's pretty clear that it's like a one and then a, you know, rune, Dorvish rune to indicate instead of like a really tiny kind of just barely visible English or I guess or Arabic uh, numeral for the numbers. Oh, you know what the cool thing is too? The really, okay, so the really cool thing about this one, the Dwarven one versus the Black Speech or the Elvish is that instead of the Eye of Sauron, you get a dragon, you probably get Smaug. Chilling up on the escape key. That's great. I love this thing. Man, you know what? I don't know which one I like the most. I think it's the Dwarvish one, but there's something really unique and cool about the Black Speech one that kind of just draws my eye. Even though I think I like this one visually the most, there, this just is very eye-catching. Okay, we've got, I think, all three of the variants here, which is amazing. I can't believe they sent us uh, these guys too. I really wanted these, but I just couldn't. Ah, my God, it's so hard to get out even with the glove on. Okay, I'm just gonna, that's not working either. Ooh, ooh, wow. Oh. Oh my God. It's fine. Uh, Mount Doom is clearly gonna go with our Black Speech board. And then let's get Lothlorien with our dwarves and Anduin for our elves. Beautiful. Now, obviously I'd be taking the keycaps off and replacing them and everything. They don't go right here. They go on the escape key or actually you could put them on basically any of this top row uh, and it would fit and look pretty good. So that's up to you. I think they're great. I honestly kind of want to see what, what I can take home after the end of this video. Yeah, it's nothing. nothing? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna type on all of these in a sec here, but not before you check out our sponsor. Thanks Warframe for sponsoring today's video. Warframe is a cooperative free to play online action game with over 70 million players on PC, Series X, PS5, Switch, and more. Their newest expansion, the Duviri Paradox, is a roguelite adventure where you find yourself exploring a time loop. This new story-based quest has you escaping an enormous open world that shifts based on the mood of its ruler, the Child King, Dominus Thrax. Not only is it free for everyone, but both new and old players can jump in right now. So start living out your space ninja dreams by using the code at the link below and Warframe will hook you up with a bundle that's perfect for new players. Okay, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna type with the finger gloves on. This is probably gonna go poorly, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Oh, yep, I'm gonna ref... That, no, mulligan, mulligan, that never happened. Ooh, 112, 97%, it's not bad, not the best I've done, but could have been worse. There's something about the cupping on all of these keycaps. A lot of you might be familiar with feeling the home row, not through cups, but through uh, the little bars or dots on the F and J key. And that's not happening here. It's going with a more of a, I don't think these are SA, but they're almost SA. And so they're going with that really cupped feel so that you know where your fingers just kind of sit. And it does a good job, but there's also this kind of weird raised edge on some of them that feels a bit exaggerated. And so this doesn't feel like a typical SA keycap set or SA variant. And uh, because of that, I would ever so slightly sometimes feel like I'm struggling to lift my fingers just a little bit and they'd catch 
on some of the keycaps. Not much, and I would definitely get used to that over time. It might also help if I had the feet up and I was typing at a bit more of an angle. Um, so that might be something to be aware of, but other than that, like it feels pretty good. Now, in terms of sound, these aren't like the best I've ever used or heard myself. Uh, however, you can modify drop control keyboards uh, without too much ease, and there's tons of videos on YouTube uh, to show you how to do that if you're ever worried about um, you know, running into a big project that you don't know how to do. My only real complaint has gotta be that this is not hot swap. I really wish it was. Let's take a keycap off and take a look. And while I only typed on the Black Speech keyboard, all these other guys are using the same switches and it's basically the same keyboard aside from some uh, you know, artistic design changes. So you're gonna get the same ex typing experience relatively across each one. One of the really nice things about this too is that while I didn't think there was RGB, there's definitely at least illumination. So while you can't see much of it on these keycaps in particular, cause they're not shine through or anything, if, say, you like the board and you like the uh, artwork design on it, so you want to keep it and you like the switches, you want to keep those, you can do that and just change the keycap set to something else that's more shine through if you want to take advantage. Which is actually great if you want to maybe just swap out WASD or something for something shine through for when you're gaming so that you just, I don't know, some people do that. Like I've had rubber keycaps on my WASD at one point just to get a feel for it. One thing to note though, is that they do appear to be north facing. So if you prefer south facing LEDs, then that could also be a problem for you. What do you prefer? A lot of you in the community prefer south facing. Apparently you can see the shine through a little better. I've never stopped and like tested that myself personally. So I don't know for sure, but it, does, it is a sticking point for a lot of people out there. Another really minor nitpick that a lot of people might not even care about is uh, you can't really put the space bar upside down and still have it fit the rest of the keyboard because of the Elvish scripture or black speech uh, scripture on it. And other than that, it's pretty nice. It's uh, anodized aluminum and so it's a little hefty. It's also a TKL. I'm, I, I don't know why I didn't mention that yet, but basically you're just, you're not gonna, it's 10 key less. You're not gonna get your numpad and all of that, but it is a smaller profile on your desk. So for those of you who care, who need that little bit of extra desk space, TKL is often preferable or even, you know, go, go as low as a 40% if you really want to, why not? Don't go as low as 40%, don't do a 40%. It's gross, yeah, I agree. What was I gonna do? Oh, weigh it, I was gonna weigh this. Zero pound. How many pound now? 2.164. Uh, so it's not that heavy. It's definitely enough that you've got, it's got a bit of weight to it and you can tell that it's not just all plastic, but it's not gonna be some like six plus pound thing that just sits on your desk and doesn't move. That being said, the rubber feet on the bottom aren't great. They're not like bad and it might work a little better with the feet flipped up. Oh yeah, that's a bit better, although you're always in danger of this, where it just flops down like that. Is it the keyboard for me? Not particularly, but that's mostly because I'm kind of getting away from TKLs right now. I've been really a lot more into getting that numpad back on my desk, but in a compressed layout, whether that's like a full compressed keyboard or if it's like an 1800 with like just a bit of gap kind of there, it's pretty sweet. And for the switches, the keyboard, and the keycaps, and the cable, like everything that you see here, except for these novelty keycaps, because these are much more expensive on their own. They are beautiful though. Dwarf Factory does a really good job. If you like these, maybe check out Jelly Key as well. They're, they're great if you like these artisan keycaps. That's what I was gonna get to. These are about $65 a piece for a 1U keycap, which is actually pretty on par for most uh, kind of specialty custom keycaps like this. The range fluctuates a bit. If you are okay with that price and you like this kind of design where it's a uh, 3D model and then they've uh, resined it over top or whatever, you then check out Jelly Key as well. They do a bunch of cool stuff. I've got a few keycaps on the way from them. Um, but 65 bucks for a single escape key when I'm like, I'm a Lord of the Rings fan, but I'm not like, Oh yeah, everything Lord of the Rings. Like it's just, I grew up reading the books and I love the movies and I've played most games that Hobbit come out. Hobbit is a banger. The book's great. Hey, the book's great. First movie, not so bad. Second, third movies, we just don't speak of those. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like the hugest fan, so I don't need this in my life. However, if you've already got like a themed setup in your room or you're looking to do that with like Lord of the Rings everything, then this is absolutely kind of the best choice to go with, unless you're willing to pay really big bucks for something super duper custom. Now the keyboard itself, with keycaps, with switches, with the cable, with everything else you saw in the box, this goes for right now, it's on group buy for $169.99, so it's 170 bucks, and it is 199 at launch. I don't know if they're gonna do another round, if it's all gonna sell out during the group buy, who knows, but they are looking to ship 
in May of this year, which is always great. At 170 or $200, there are a lot of full keyboards that you could buy that are pretty good competitors to this thing. Out of the box, they're honestly even better in a lot of ways in terms of, especially in terms of like sound and maybe type feel on the stabilizers. The reality is you just, these days you kind of want like some really good tape on the back and some foam, silicone on the bottom maybe, just to make it all sound. Everyone's looking for that, like either that creamy thock kind of sound, or they're looking for that like high ping, like old IBM kind of sound. And this is definitely more on the old IBM kind of noise. But for me, it's just not what I'm looking for right at the moment. If you wanna get something like this, that is basically the same, but without the really, really cool art style, um, then you can get, I don't know, anything from Keychron is gonna be similar price and maybe even a GMK Pro if you want one. But I gotta say, they have crushed it in terms of just Lord of the Rings stuff. They've absolutely done a number on the design here and I'm really pleased with it overall. When it comes to a product like this that is attached to a very marketable IP, it can be really tough to get something down in price that is anywhere close to this, to be perfectly honest. I've actually got a set of keycaps alone. I've got the Phyrexian keycaps ordered and those are 150 bucks just for the keycaps. I gotta say, if th this is a pretty good deal. If you're a big Lord of the Rings fan and you want any of these three keyboards or even the keycaps, like they're beautiful and they're very well handcrafted, like absolutely stunning. It's kind of your option and I think you should go for it. So that's the drop control and Lord of the Rings keyboard, specifically the Black Speech set that we've gotta be super careful with. If you wanna check out any other kind of IP related stuff, I opened a Star Wars LG C2 recently. It was good. It was just also really expensive.